welcome back, wood lovers. It's Tommy Stonewood. Welcome back again. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's been a long day. Yesterday we looked at Indian rosewood. Um, provoked lots of thought in the comments. Um, people thinking it's pretty boring to look at. I don't know if it's boring to look at. I just think we're probably so used to seeing it that we've become desensitised to it. Because objectively, it's very beautiful. Um, it's a very lovely timber and it's a great tone wood. But maybe, and maybe people are just a bit bored of it, too used to seeing it. We've been uh, conditioned into overlooking Indian rosewood. It's the girl next door timber, you know? Anyway. Today we are looking at Pyrus communis, which kind of sounds a little bit uh, sinister if you just tweak those, that botanical name slightly. Um, we are looking at steamed Swiss pear. And uh, the, yet again, another wood that I've not worked with before and a fascinating wood and one that I'm really into. Here we go. It's very lightly figured and it's got a very unusual, or it's just got a very lovely colour to it. And why is it steamed? What's the steaming thing all about? Ste the steaming process is, is, uh, is part of the drying process. It's also a method that is used to yield a more uniform colour throughout the board. So pet fruit trees aren't typically enormous. The, and so they don't tend to yield huge amounts of usable timber, or at least the timber that they or at least the timber that they do yield tends to be quite contrasty. So you get the, the kind of colorful heartwood and then you'll get a very pale sapwood. And um, the steaming process is, is kind of set up to do two things. One, it kills any nasties when the tree is felled, but also what it does is helps to unify and um, kind of homogenize the color of the timber. So the idea is that under intense um, kind of wet heat, the color from the, the, heart, the darker heartwood kind of bleeds and leaches into the um, sapwood as the air pockets inside the wood expand and force kind of internal moisture um, towards the surface. It's important that it's a wet process because if it was dry heat obviously it would um, cause the, the timber to dry out too quickly, um, it would twist and warp and crack and, and you know it, it would be a bad scene. So having it at 100% RH means that you don't get um, any kind of, you're not shocking the wood. So there you go. That's what steaming is as I understand it. So before we give it a little tap just some uh, stats for you, some numbers. 16, 60 pounds force on the Janker scale, so kind of comparable to a lot of fruit woods, other fruit woods. Specific gravity of 0.63 and an average dried weight of 690 kilograms per cubic meter. Let's give it a tap. So immediately, it's, uh, it's a little underwhelming. Perhaps, you might say. There's a little suggestion of something going on, but as I'm tapping this, I'm just feeling that energy. It's just being dampened straight away. The energy is being com completely dissipated throughout the timber. It's not radiating anything off. There's a little bit of something but not a huge amount. See what I mean? So I think with this, I'd be inclined to, to completely isolate the back, um, brace it pretty stiff, leave the back plate pretty thick, and just let the top wood do its thing. I don't think I'd be asking this steamed pair to, to contribute anything to the party. I'll just leave it sitting in the corner. So let's give it a little squirt with our old friend, the Magic Spray. I love the colour. I love the colour. Isn't that just the most beautiful 
shade of kind of orangey peach. Very, I don't know what that's reminiscent of. I don't even know what color I would call that, like a pastel orange. And now you can just see the, the little flecks of figure in there as well. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Not, uh, not in your face, very subtle. Bit of a wallflower or a wall pair and a spalliered pair. The perks of being in a spalliered pair. This isn't gonna be for you if you're a fan of rosewood guitars. You know, this, why would you go with pair? You might want something that's a little bit more understated. You might want something that's domestic and not traveled across the oceans and not contributed to deforestation of the Amazon. This would yield a guitar with a very modern look to it. I think if you are into Scandinavian design, um, you've got a minimalist aesthetic. I think pear would be a really lovely choice for you. I think it would make a really delicate little Model S or even eventually when I get around to it, a Model XS, a little tiny little honey badger. Steamed Swiss pear. So hopefully this has been uh, a useful and educational episode on you know, what it means to steam wood, why, why, it, why it is done, what it does to a piece of wood. And um, I just, I am loving handling all these different timbers, draining my bank account for your enjoyment. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It's for my enjoyment. A little bit of unrelated housekeeping. I uh, just want to make sure everybody is aware. Uh, I'm going to be closing my order books at the end of the month to custom new custom orders. Uh, I'm exceptionally busy. I've got a lot of work to get through and I don't want to be keeping people waiting longer than they need to. So if you are interested in a custom build, now is the time to, to get on the books before they close and when they reopen, there will be a price rise. So now is the time to get, um, to get on board. I have a limited number of slots um, and uh, who knows when I'll be reopening them again. I don't know. Nobody knows. There's no way of knowing when they will reopen. So if you're interested in your very own custom Tom Sands guitar, maybe featuring this beautiful set of Powered, now is the time. Don't delay, act now. See you tomorrow.